Thanks for joining us on this edition of National Focus. I'm Jana Hector. In the headlines, the Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt delivers a foreign policy lecture in Grenada, and the city mayor suggests cameras to deter littering. Details of our headline stories and more after this. Did you know the Caribbean Court of Justice is two courts in one? The CCJ has two functions, an original jurisdiction, which deals with your right to move between CARICOM countries freely and your right to move your money and your business. This is the basis of the CARICOM Single Market and Economy, CSME, and the revised Treaty of Chagaramas, and an appellate jurisdiction to hear appeals from courts of those countries which decide to use it as their final court of appeal and no longer go to the Privy Council. All CARICOM member states who have signed the agreement establishing the CCJ are members of the CCJ. Thanks for staying with us. The Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt says the DLP administration's review of the country's foreign policy has augured well for its citizens. The Dominica leader made the remark during his presentation of the inaugural March 13th lecture in Grenada on Monday. The Honorable Prime Minister spoke on the topic, the Grenada Revolution and the current foreign policy challenges of small island states. He made particular reference to his government's decision to forge ties with the People's Republic of China. We rationally decided that it was in the best interest of Dominica to shift from supporting Taiwan to adopting the One China policy. This change of policy began to bear fruit immediately as support in the form of grants and concessionary loans was received from the People's Republic of China. These were used for building the Windsor Park Sports Stadium, rehabilitating the Roslo Ports of Road, improving the housing stock in Dominica, getting access to ongoing agricultural technical cooperation, upgrading of the medical facilities, disbursing flood relief funds, offering scholarships to students, constructing the State House, the Conference Center, the Commission Building, under New Dominica State College. The Honorable Prime Minister also mentioned the major benefits derived from establishing relations with the government of Venezuela. That relationship led to the signing of the Petro-Caribe Agreement and Dominica joining the Bolivarian Alliance for the Peoples of Our America, or ALBA, in 2008. The benefits that flowed from these agreements included access to low-priced petroleum products, grants and concessionary funding to finance our housing revolution, grants for hurricane recovery, the national security program, the construction of many sea defense, sea defense walls, agricultural diversification, tourism infrastructure, scholarships, and the Melville Airport upgrade. The Dominica leader confirmed that by 2014, the government of Dominica had established meaningful and productive relationships with more than 94 states. In other news, Canadian High Commissioner to Dominica, His Excellency Richard Hanley, visited the Dominica State Prison last week. The main objective was to observe the progress made thus far on a new carpentry workshop. It is funded by an $88,000 grant from the Canada Fund for Local Initiatives. Reginald Savre is technical officer in the Prime Minister's office. We have an area designated in the prison where we'll develop a, a beautiful and new a modern carpentry workshop. Um, it will also involve the purchase of a wide range of tools, um, carpentry tools, joinery tools, and all other hand tools that the, the prisoners will use. It will also fund special tools for the prisoners, so at the end of the workshop, when they are released from prison, they will get a little package of tools that they will take home and continue the trade. Prison officer Wilbert Daniel is the coordinator of the workshop. He says a major aspect of the rehabilitation program will be training. 20 to 25 inmates are going to be trained in different aspects of carpentry. Uh, that's what the whole idea of the project is. It's part of the prison's rehabilitation program. And um, it's expected to be an ongoing, as long as the, the place is constructed and equipped, it's going to be an ongoing rehabilitation program for prisoners or persons who enter the prison. Daniel also gave an update on the project. 
Um, we already have begun to acquire um, material for the building. And um, in fact, only today, we have just processed the documents for the procurement of the tools and equipment um, for that project. The Bureau of Standards is continuing to play a critical role in the export of agricultural produce. The Honorable Minister for Agriculture, Johnson Drago, says the Bureau will be better equipped to prepare produce for export through the Banana Accompanying Measures program. One such produce to be targeted is mangoes. One of the things that the, the, the Ministry um, of Agriculture will be doing is the, um, the purchase of a hot water treatment plant for the export of mangoes. And one of, one of the things that, that has affected our, our mango industry is the um, whole question of mango weevils and so on. And, and we have not been able to meet the standard required for the, for, the, for the regional market. And one of the things we must do is to, um, to purchase a, a hot water treatment plant so, so that we can um, 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 export our mangoes. You are watching National Focus. Still to come, the Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt calls on the region to preserve the environment and the city mayor proposes a plan to deter littering. Wash your hands. I am Adora Tuse, health educator from the Ministry of Health. Proper hand washing protects against the spread of many common illnesses and germs. Wash your hands often with soap and water, or you may use a hand sanitizer. Remember, clean hands save lives. Protect yourself. Welcome back. Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has called on Caribbean people to do more to protect the environment. The Dominica leader made the call on Monday as he delivered the inaugural March 13th lecture in Grenada. The risk that we face as a result of global warming threaten to affect our very existence. This is real, my dear friends. But our responses as nation states have not been sufficiently proactive. How many of our countries are devoting sufficient resources to minimize the consequences of natural disasters that are more likely to affect us as the global climate warms? Where in our foreign policy are we developing those international relationships with countries that have already had to start confronting these issues long before our region. Where are our voices in the international arena? Director of Surveillance, Disease Prevention and Control at the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, Dr. Babatunde Olowokure, says the Promotion of Healthy Diets Action Plan set up by CAFA is well on its way. At a meeting last week designed to update the public on health issues affecting the region, Dr. Olowokure informed that the action plan deals with promoting healthy diets, food security and sustainable development in the Caribbean through joint policy. In his address, he outlined CAFA's proposed solution for diet-related non-communicable diseases. For government leadership and cross-sectoral action. What and how much people eat is influenced by a wide range of interacting factors and the majority of these factors are outside the health sector. Governments must lead. CAFA is also recommending that the urgent threat posed by unhealthy diets and diet-related non-communicable diseases to human and economic development is recognized by the region and that plans be put in place to address these issues. Governments must lead comprehensive, coordinated responses in conjunction with the active participation of civil society and the private sector. Mayor of the city of Roseau, Her Worship Irene John, says the city council may have to resort to placing cameras in the city as a deterrent to littering. Littering has been a long-standing challenge for the city council. Mayor Irene John believes that the issue is more about the behavior of citizens than the council's limitations. 
So we are concerned that the cruise ship is here, tourists are here, and the, 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 the city is dirty. But who is dirty in the city? You know, my main concern is us. Still, the council continues to work hard to combat the issue of littering. City overseer Thomas Baptist, who is responsible for the general upkeep of the municipality, spoke about some of these initiatives. We have collaboration with the environmental health department. We do also have a collaboration with the um, Solid Waste Management Corporation. And from time to time, we meet to strategize. We also have added through the National Employment and Program five little ones to look at the town, to, to, to uh, how you call it, to be on the beat all the time. So they are doing patrols within the boundaries of the city, of specifically the Central Rosa District. And they're, they're the primary objective really is to sensitize the public. He says these strategies have yielded signs of improvement. It is the council's hope that initiatives like these can be continued and broadened in order to continue improving sanitation in the city. Additionally, her worship the mayor is adamant that if citizens adhere to the Litter Act, the city will be much cleaner. We have laws, you know, governing the country, and we must all abide by the laws that's governing the country. And it's not for one, it's for all of us. And that's the English News. Macpherson St. Louis is next with the Creole Highlights. Hello tout le monde, bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. Mon moi c'est Macpherson St. Louis. Le ministre Santé en collaboration avec Banque La Terre tient en consultation pour revisiter le programme Dominique pour changement climatique, Climate Resilience, SPCR. Dominique en parmi six pays qui sélectés pour un programme pilote qui a concerné Climate Resilience. Banque Latte va pouvoir pour financer le projet en l'année 2013, Hot Climate Investment Fund. Objectif PPC RLM, c'est pour faire provision de chaîne de mitigation de l'occasion qui en WIS affecte par le changement climatique. Si l'on parole qui sorti, Dominique supposé mettre le programme en place SPCR par juin l'année sala. Plusieurs monde de vest département attendre des consultations yon jour qui prend place en hôtel Fortion en Wozo Bomatela. Officier Banque la Terre et puis monsieur Colin Gist, hold PPCR adressé consultation là où là yo parler en détail objectively. En autre nouvelle, Dominique Chek a bien avisé pour garder bien pour manger yo capotiwe. Par Wall Street, la sorte de consultant ministre commodité, nos Priscilla Privo. Gardez bien, et puis si vous voyez une bagaille qui qui pas um, bon, ou ça qui te, si une trop sick, si une une trop grosse, ou pas ni pour um, penser manger ça là ça. Comme ça, c'est ça nous qui um, encourage les gens pour garder ça yo manger, puisque ça nous manger c'est ça qui ca um, tuer nous à présent. Et puis finalement, l'Independent Regulatory Commission, IRC, qui a fait parole que la compagnie là a suivi la police du gouvernement, qui a consigné l'énergie géothermique. Si la police du gouvernement a consigné l'électricité en Dominique, il y a fait certain que la génération communautaire là bien en ordre et puis standard international. Parole c'est là sur le consultant IRC, M. Paul Morgan, pour la compagnie là a une consultation pour discuter l'opération de la compagnie Dominique. Morgan aussi fait parole que le développement énergie renouvelable a aussi tombé en bas pour les six salaires. IRC a discuté avec Domlec pour l'année 2015-2017. Morgan fait parole que IRC a revisité le tarif à Domlec, les géothermiques qui viennent en réalité. Domlec a expecté géothermique par l'année 2017. Mais mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nous faire un créole pour à présent. Non moins, c'est Macpherson, c'est Lous. Voilà. So you think you know how to drink water. Here's the tip of all water tips coming up next. Black Sikatoka se yon maladi ki ka efekte fey fig e pi banan. Maladi sa la ke weste a le se fey la apwe ou tiwe yo hol plan la. Pa seve fey fig e pi banan ko kushon le ou ka mene dawe la place et bi lot pey. Pa chaye fey fig et pi banan tout patou. Sa ke detwi fig et pi banan 
à pays là à nous venir ensemble pour nous protéger d'awe pays nous on commence au haut département agricole It is well known that the body needs sufficient water daily to function smoothly. But did you know that drinking a glass of water every morning before anything else is also life-giving? When you wake up after a long sleep, your body is naturally dehydrated. No matter how much water you drank the day before, you have used up your stores and it's time to refill the tank. The first thing drinking water after waking up will do is provide your cells with much-needed life-giving water not coffee which will further dehydrate your already thirsty body. Partaking in this immediate rehydration will have major noticeable benefits including a more refreshed feeling and more natural energy throughout the morning. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash GISnewsDominica and follow our Twitter at GISdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I'm Jana Hector. Thanks for watching and join us again next time on National Focus. <laughs>